Hey everyone, hope you are liking my videos. Today I will talk about GIMP's gradient tool. I am going to make this alien sky tutorial next week. That is, I will make a sci-fi or fantasy sky look in an alien world or planet. For this tutorial, we will be needing to know how to make gradient with more than two colors. Open a new document with default size. Take the gradient tool from the tool menu. This one. Now, you will see this tool options opens when we select the tool. And here is the list of default gradients. Now, you can see another tab here called gradients. You will not have this tool here by default. To get this tab, click on this little arrow symbol beside the tab area. It's called configure this tab. Then, go to add tab and select gradients. Under gradients tab, you will see same list of gradients. Now below the list, there is this small icon with a paper and pencil image. It's called edit gradient to edit an existing gradient. The next symbol is of a blank paper with a folded corner. It's create a new gradient to make a new gradient. Now let's look at a three colored gradient that I already made. Now see this gradient has three colors but generally in GIMP you can make maximum two colored gradient at a go. To make a new gradient click on the create a new gradient icon. A basic gradient to editor opened with foreground background color combination. Just drag it on both sides to make it wider to see and work better on it. Now right click on the color area and select left end color. It defines color on the left side of the gradient. A color palette opens up. So select your choiceable color from the palette. I am selecting a blue color here. Now again right click on the color area. This time select right endpoints color. It defines color on the rightmost side of the gradient. Again the color palette opens up and you can select any color you like. I am choosing a cyan shade here. You can see the description of the color etc down here. Now click on this bar line below the color area and right click again. Select split segment at midpoint. It splits the midpoint into further smaller segments. Previously we had one area on each side of the midpoint. Now we have two areas on each side of the midpoint. That is total four areas. You can count areas based on the space between two triangular arrows that divide the segment. Now click on the left side bar of the midpoint. You see only left side remains blue that is selected area and right side becomes white. Which means that area is not selected. Now on this separated left side right click on the color area. And select right endpoints color. This will enable you to choose the third color you want in the middle of two colors. So, I am choosing a magenta color and copying the HTML color code. You will see why in a moment. Now you see as this segment is acting as a separate segment, the color on the right abruptly ends with a sharp edge. We need to fix that. To do so, similarly click on the right side of the midpoint bar. Now the right side is selected. Now click on the color area and this time select left endpoints color. Same logic follows for this selection. When the color palette opens up, select the most recent color sample used from the color samples displayed below the code area. Either that or paste the color code you copied previously. Now you can see the middle color blended well with both the colors on the edges. 
Now to save the gradient you just made, you need to click this save icon. But first name the gradient up here. I just named it grad1. Now click on the save button. See the gradient is now on the list here. Let's see how it works. Looks nice. You can make more than three color combination as well with the same method. Also, you can change the area that a particular color covers by moving those arrows on the bar. Now for the next tutorial, I made these two gradient color combinations. Sky test and violet blue. Mm, uh, yes, I am not good at giving names. Um, moving on. Uh, this is sky test gradient. Now let's see this gradient in detail. The leftmost color is 4B109A. It's a violet shade. Again, it's 4B109A. The middle color I used is 8C62ED. It's light violet or mauve shade. Again, it's 8C62ED. And the rightmost color is D9. 2C, 2C. It's a shade of red. So again, the last color is D9, 2C, 2C. Okay, the other gradient that we will be needing for next tutorial is this one, violet blue. Now, let's see what this gradient is made of. The leftmost color is 5D06A7. It's kind of violet purple in shade. Again, it's 5D06A7. The middle color I used is 2941EF. It's a blue color. Again, it's 2941EF. And the rightmost color is 56C7F1. It's a shade of sky blue with a hint of cyan. So again the last color is 56C7F1. That was lots of HTML color code. Okay. So make this gradient combination for the next tutorial. I will teach you how to make this awesome bright sun with a dark background and gassy atmosphere with electric waves running through. So keep learning. Don't forget to watch the next tutorial. If you like my videos, please comment, like and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.